Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the latest lecture of Stat Pro Process. Till now, we have learned in parts about how to make our structure, add loads, member forces, etc. So now let's put all of them together to analyze a real life simplistic example. This is a one story, single story uh, storehouse. Uh, the architectural views of all that. So you can see this is made up of grids of 15 feet by 15 feet. And let's try to make the structural members. Let's try to design the structural members for this given building. So for our convenience, I've already made the 15 feet by 15 feet layout in meters actually. So let's start modeling our structure. So let's go for selecting our node, selecting all the nodes, giving isometric view, going for translational repeat. We will translate in y direction. And then the first step will be 1 meter for our uh, <coughs> foundations. The second step will be say 15 feet only because we have a height. Store should have a good height for so uh, 4.57 meters. And then thin steps. Okay. So see, we have our uh, structure with uh, all the beams that we require. Now, Let's go for adding beams. The first thing is that why I took a real life example. Just see the plinth beams when we give, we do not give in every section. So that is why from nodes I went for a translational repeat. Now let's cut section one by one. Shift plus N will give me the shift uh, the node number. Then I go for cut section with uh, we will go for X Z plane. Say I am going for the top with node number. We can see here 41. Okay, so we have got that plane. Now let's go for add beam, add beams, add beams. Individually, we can go for add beams. Just go on adding beams. Now the thing is that just see on the roof slab, we need to provide beams everywhere. But in plain beam, we need not provide because uh, there is already a ground support that it will get. Though we design for a frame structure but then also there are no floor loads on the plinth beam so why to waste our uh, cost on that so let's put these things together yes save this is a very nice feature which automatically asks you to save we go on for add beam, add beam, simple and sweet. Add beam, add beam, add beam. So now you can view our structure. The upper part of our structure is ready. Then now let's go for the lower part of our structure. That is the plinth beam. Since this is a single story beam, a single story store, so we have gone for the roof beams. These beams are of roof beams. So let's go for again cut section. We we'll go for the XZ plane with node number say 21. Okay. So now let's add only the peripheral beams. Let's make our plane beam only peripheral. Going on adding our peripheral beams, peripheral beams, peripheral beams. Now we'll be adding all these beams to the longer span side just to tie them together, just to decrease our effective length and nothing else. So let's view our whole structure. So we have done the entire plane beam network. Now let's go on to geometry. Uh, sorry, we have completed geometry. Let's go on to general. We'll give the material property. So go for define. We have a rectangular section, say the depth of the, this is the depth of the beam. Let's first think about our roof beam. Let's give it a 350 depth. Uh, the width of the beam is obviously the width of the wall, 10 inch wall that we have. And then another, the column, let's go for a 400 mm column. 
400 add the plinth beam let's go for that one pretty small amount so 250 by 250 let's select that for the plinth beam add tubes now let's select the member one by one and assign them so for plinth beam let's select the whole plinth beam let's see if the whole plinth beam has been selected yes so assign to selected beam assign yes then let's go for that roof beams roof beams sorry roof beams selected beams assign yes then we'll go for the columns select we'll go for beams parallel to y axis so all the columns get selected so here assign to selected beams assign yes so we have already assigned the material to <coughs> each of our members now let's go for the support we'll go for a fixed support so let's create a fixed support add so we have made a fixed support and then we have this node cursor of multiply on assign to selected nodes assign yes so see all our bottom uh, nodes have got the fixed support now let's go for the loads and definitions let's create the node load case details actually i'm going a little bit fast uh, because these things are already being done in our previous lectures this is dead so let's name it as dead add another one live let's name it as live add then let's see if this dead load and live load have been added then let's go for define load combination the third one let's add combination let's name it as combination as per is code we go for 1.5 load factors dead load 1.5 load factor live load to 1.5 load factor add close now let's define dead load one by one add the self weight factor minus one add then we have got a member load member load that is the weight of the brickwork so what will be the weight of the brickwork the weight of the brickwork will be on the plinth beam so for the given height of the building we can find weight of the brickwork will be something around 16 kN per meter so let's add that 16 kN per meter add yes save then we go for the floor load these are all the dead loads keep it in mind fine so for uh, say 125 mm thickness we are going the floor load comes out to be 3.125 but on because it is a roof slab we will also be having some waterproofing treatment some grading some finishes so let's take it as minus 4.5 kilonewton meter square so the minimum range that we need to define say 2 meters because 1 meter is our foundation the, the plinth level is 1 meter maximum say we can have 6 meter add close so this thing we have assigned this thing we have assigned another one another one i left add because there will be parapet at the top we will have another member load say that as minus 4 kilonewton per meter add close so the self weight it will be the assigned to view because everyone will be having a self weight assign yes then this is the minus 16 kilonewton this is for the brickwork and where will we have the brickwork as per the diagram just see we have the brickwork on the periphery totally on the periphery so we'll be adding the brickwork on the periphery of the plinth beam so first let's cut the section cut section xz plane with node number 21 okay then we hold the control button and select members one by one or we can first go to the plan then select as a whole press control button standard computer controls are work here so we have selected the whole plane area on which there will be the 16th the brickwork load assigned to selected beams assign yes then let's view the whole structure then we have to assign this dead load of the parapet wall on the top of the, uh, the terrace floor so let's go cut section again xz plane 41 okay and let's go for the top view 
let's take it one by one side control 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 select select and then let's see we have selected that assign to selected means assign yes so we have already assigned the loads now let's give the live load live load new sorry live load add uh, these are all the floor loads because live load will be on the floor so let's give a live load of say 3 kN minus 3 kN per meter square and close and then okay we have we have just see we haven't given the range correct so the range will be from 2 meter to say 6 meter change close see the live load also got added the combination of load also got added here we are not considering the wind load because this is just a single story building and we are just going to analyze because we haven't analyzed a single structure till now. I am just going to teach you how to analyze a structure. Fine. So just we are giving the basic load uh, components, the basic load cases that we have and we will be analyzing the structure based on that. So now let's go for the analysis and print. This is perform analysis, all, select all and then add, close. Then we will go for the design of the material. Now here you see we have to design with it steel, concrete, timber, aluminium, shear ball, anything is there. But since we have selected uh, concrete in geometry, geometry just see, uh, in general we have uh, selected the property as concrete. So we will go for design with concrete. Fine. The first thing that we have to do here is select the IS code. IS456 is, which, is in which we are going to design. Then select parameters. What are the parameters that I will be setting for my designing? Say what will be the grade of concrete. In left you can see all the parameters that we have. So we will first go for the grade of concrete. Say this is the compressive strength of concrete. This I want to define. What I also want to define is also the steel, the grade of steel. Uh, FE500, FE550 or FE415 or FE250, anything that we can go. That is the primary fy main fy secondary then what i can do is that maximum the maximum size of reinforcement if i want to leave it say i am doing it in a very remote place where i don't have the access to 32 mm dia or 25 mm dia or higher uh, diameter uh, reinforcement is not available in that case we have to give, give this one then let's define this one also let's define the maximum secondary too we will also go for minimum one also. Let's say the minimum, <coughs> sorry, the minimum re, uh, size also will be defining. The minimum size for secondary also will be defining. Let's define all this. Okay. Now let's, we have selected the parameters. Now let's start defining the parameters. The first is, is the grade of concrete. Let's take it as M20 grade of concrete. This is because this is a very rudimentary example. So let's go for the least possible things that we can have. FY main. Let us give it as 500. And FY secondary. Let us also give this as 500. Maximum main. The maximum, let's give it as 25. Fine, we are going somewhere. Add maximum secondary, the secondary reinforcement. Let it be 10 only. Add minimum, minimum main, let's give it as 12 because the minimum reinforcement in this column is 12. So let's give it as 12. Add minimum secondary is 8. Add close. Now just see we have all these parameters here. The code Indian has been selected, start concrete design, and FY to this is the FC, the grade of concrete. Now let's assign it to view because everything will be designing in the same grade of concrete. So assign, yes. Then the main reinforcement. We will also use FE500 for all. So this is also assigned to view, assign, yes. FY secondary, then again assign to view, assign, yes. The maximum main to view, assign, yes. Maximum secondary. Sign to view, sign, yes. Minimum, minimum main, 
assign to view assign yes minimum secondary assign to view assign yes now <coughs> we have already given the parameters now let's start designing them so we go for commands and design beam add design column add and then we haven't given any slab section the designing of slab i'll be teaching in in another class then this is the takeoff this is the quantity takeoff means the total volume of concrete and weight of steel that will be used in the whole structure this is a very good feature actually add close now let's assign them design beam which are the parts of the structure that we are going to design as a beam because you know the property of designing a beam uh, the method of designing a beam and column are different <coughs> so we'll be selecting the top this top part and the the terrace beam and the plinth beam to be designed as beam just see the whole thing that we have selected design to beam assign to selected beams assign yes design of column select beams parallel to y all the things got selected design column assign yes so just see we have given all the commands to design a beam to design a column and also have a concrete takeoff sheet so now what we only have to do is analyze run analysis save and for the first time we have started running our analysis it might take some time to run the analysis just see Let's started running the analysis we have got the analysis is over so now let's view the output file done now see what it has done concrete quantity here that thing that i was telling about the total volume this is because we have given the takeoff so that is why uh, the total volume of concrete is 29.8 cubic meter and the bar 8 dia bar the weight will be required is 9152 kg uh 12 dia bar will be this much kg 16 dia bar will be this much kg fine so now if we go to the top we will find what is that the whole design has been given here say this is beam number this is the beam design so what it will give it will give four sections 1 2 3 4 5 sections it will give at each section what is the quantity of steel that is required here just you see what it has given m20 so we are going for the m20 grade of concrete fe500 is the grade that we have given the size of the beam is given the cover that we have opted for is 25 mm the length of the beam is 4.57 that is 15 feet now the every design that it has given 4 12 4 12 then 3 12 in between 2 12 so we'll have extra top of 2 2 12 bars extra top here uh, 1 12 bar extra top here with 2 12 bar continuing throughout in bottom we have 2 12 here 3 uh, 12 here 2 12 here so we can go for an extra bottom in this 1.142 to uh, 3.42 meter that we can have a total beam structure there uh, the re reinforcement distribution like that the so similarly everything it has given we can search for the column say column just see here the column design results are there that was the beam design that we saw now it's the column design design the first column that it is giving the area of steel provide eight dia rectangular ties at this much provide eight 12 mm dia bars this will be the square root how it is distributed what will be used at the ultimate home ultimate uh, the force vertical force that is the moment this is the moment along z axis moment along y axis the interaction ratio that we find from the interaction diagram for the given um, d by d dash and also the uh, the given fe level we have interaction diagram in sp16 that is the interaction ratio that it has been referred to here so in this way you can find that it has designed each and everything but here you need to again re reference which one is column number 3 which one is column number 1 so what you can do easily is that on your structure 
you can double click on a member there you can see the property the loading the shear bending the deflection the concrete design everything it has shown just see the column that we are seeing the eight number of 12 bars here you can see bar size 12 bar number 8 fine similarly for the case of beam you can see the concrete design here it has shown three number of 12 here three number of 12 the top three number 12 the bottom again three number 12 the top three number 12 the bottom four number 12 the top three number 12 the bottom just see the whole design thing the concrete design has been given here the other thing that you can go for deflection shear bending loading property as far as the thing that you want you can see here easily hope you like this video we'll see you in the next lecture bye bye